Hello, lords and ladies and other distinguished noble people. How are you all doing today? Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're playing Don't Starve Together, and I did say we, because I have my friend Ghosty on. And, um, this is gonna go poorly. They've been rapid fire telling me things. I'm not sure if explaining is the right word. Um, yeah. <laughs> I explain. I know. I explained this game great. You did. Some... I said. If, I said if we did. I said if we did the lights out mode, we were both gonna die because I've never played it. I said we should have done that. We didn't. Which which version are we doing? We're just doing straight survival. Straight survival. Okay. Um, on to survival. Slim. Okay, I'm at the character select screen. I would. Su okay, so who do you have unlocked? Do you have everybody? Uh, no, I don't have. Wartox, w uh, Warman, Walt, Wart, or Wanda. But you have everybody. But you have everybody else. Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay. So they they changed that. Okay. So I would recommend for new time players. Uh, generally, um, we suggest Wilson, who's the very first one, because he's basically all his stats are pretty standardized across the board, and he's the first character that you actually get in base game. Um, that being said, there's also Winona, who's next to the little spider guy in the third column. Uh, she's basically the base character for Don't Start Together. Uh, same stats, uh, but she comes equipped with, um, I believe, like duct tape, which you can use for various things. Um, so those are the two I would recommend you start with. I'm not going to make you. You can pick whoever you want. But okay. um, those are the two that I would recommend because they're, like I said, they're pretty standardized across the board. Uh, Winona also gets one free hit from the darkness. So basically, if you get caught out in the dark without a light source, uh, the darkness basically will like beat your ass, right? Oh, okay. So, but Winona gets hit once, and it doesn't hurt her. Okay, I'm gonna go with Winona. All right, I'm playing Willow, which is not the best. I mean, it's Willow's like Willow is a good starter. Like she's the other good starter because she's basically the one right after uh, Wilson. Okay. Um, but she comes equipped with. Uh, a lighter, which is like something I like to use for my friends because a lot of my friends just get stuck out in the darkness. Um, which I love this for y'all. We're doing great. <laughs> so I'm gonna, but I have customizable, so I'm gonna put my little customizable on real quick. Okay, I don't. I press go. Was that a mistake? No, I mean you'll just show up in the world. It should be. It should drop you in. It to did. Everything. Okay, so I mean, like you can just, you know, you can wait by the portal or you can die. It's up to you. That's fair. I'm picking flowers. That's good! Okay, so, good thing, good thing about picking flowers, but picking flowers uh, restores your sanity. So you're gonna notice up in the top right of the screen, you're gonna see yellow, the red, and then the, uh, the dark. Yeah. Uh, so that shows us, that basically shows you how much daylight that we still have. The red is dusk. So dusk is where you start losing your sanity, okay. um, when it gets dark. Um, when it's absolutely dark, you need to have a light source either by standing by a fire, holding a torch, holding a lighter, anything like that. You can also set trees on fire, if you're really desperate. So I shouldn't set uh, trees on fire? You can. Um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt. <laughs> um, okay. I just like, because if you stand close to the fire, you're gonna die. Like, cause you can, you can set yourself on fire. I need you to understand that. <laughs> um, so basically, uh, you're gonna want to find craftables throughout the game. Uh, like, you know, we just picked up little twigs over here. So twigs are really good for basically everything. Um, you can also press the space bar to just auto, like, pick up something. Uh, if you're close to it. Ah, okay. I got a carrot, I think. Yeah. Carrot. So the carrots are good. So the little thing that kind of looks like a kidney is actually your stomach. Uh, once you hover over it, you can see how much you have. I don't have the always on status mod, but you can you can get mods for this game to make it a little bit easier. Okay. Um, also, there's a little pig guy over here. So these guys are really cool. We like them. Oh, never mind. They punched me. All right. Never mind. Ah. They're very hostile now. They did not used to be hostile. What the fuck, Richard? <laughs> They're very hostile. Anyway, so these are juicy berry bushes. I lied. Okay, they might have changed a lot. So I, oh, wait, are these different? Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, they're different pigs. Oh, okay. They added these guys. These are my piece of pamphlet. Okay. Okay. This is, that, was a lot of, that was a lot of info. Um, so yeah, sure grass and understood. saplings. Maybe, I don't know. It's also been a hot minute since I played. Okay, so the flint is really good because the flint is what we actually use to make um, craftables. So if you see up on the side there, you're going to have like a little craft menu. Ah, so it yeah. should look like two little hands. So over top of the tool, you can actually see how much it takes to, to make an axe. So I would go ahead and make an axe. Those are usually pretty useful. And I always like to note that these trees look like truffle trees from, you know, the Lorax. Oh, they do. Yeah. So sometimes these trees turn into monsters. Um, 
I turned that off oh. to make our lives easier. And fun fact, so basically you're gonna always get uh, like birch nuts from them uh, when you cut down adult trees. Uh, you can basically, every time that you pick one, you, you cut one down, you can also just right click and plant it. Okay. And so you have endless trees. The trees grow very quickly in this game. Um, I've never run out of trees. Okay, how do I how do I chop quickly? What is happening? You just click and hold. Oh. Ah. Yeah. I was pressing. I mean, that works. It was um, not efficient enough. Yeah, so picking flowers restores your sanity, so when the night comes, your sanity's gonna start dropping. Your sanity will drop around random events too, so if you stand too close to monsters, uh, your sanity will start dropping. Um, okay. There are also evil flowers in the game, and you'll know what evil flowers look like, so you don't have to worry about those right now. You um, keep saying words. So basically, evil flowers are flowers, but they have like little scary faces on them. Oh, uh, and when okay. you And when you pick them, they drain your sanity. Ah. Um, yeah, so, also you'll notice that in your inventory, when you pick up, like, food and stuff, um, it, look, it's highlighted green down at the bottom of your screen. Yes. That means that it spoils, eventually. Oh. So, you have to eat it within a certain time frame. Now, the way to get around that is, uh, you can cook them, um, and they'll last a little bit longer. Okay. So now, as you can see, it's the, dusk. I was gonna say, the screen is going scary. Yes. So now you'll see that uh, you should see um, your little brain icon. It has an arrow that's pointing down. Ah, yes. That now means that your sanity is draining. Should we make so, a light source? Uh, not yet. In during dusk, you do not need a light source. Okay. Um, it'll drain your sanity, but it's not like really bad. Um, so frankly, I don't really see the concern with it. Okay. Uh, the brightness on my screen is not great though. Oh no. <laughs> Can you but attack birds? I really want to attack uh, birds. You, no, you, you have to catch them in traps. Um, uh, also, you'll notice that like the ground here looks a little different. Yeah. Uh, so this this one over here and then this one over here, you run faster on the roads. Ah. Also, on these little these little patches over here too, it works the same way. Oh. Would you look at that? Yep. And then also, most animals are uh, usually only active during the day, with the exception of spiders. Spiders are active during dusk and at night, which is terrible. That's so, yeah. Don't get caught. Don't get caught outside. Also, fun fact about spiders: uh -huh. uh, they only have six legs in this game. That's not a spider. It is in this game. Whack. Let's see if I can find. Let's see if we can find a spider. Nest. Also, these are the frog. Uh, these are frog ponds, so you can go fishing in them. But the best time to fish in them is during the dusk, uh, because that's then the frogs won't come out to beat your ass. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Frogs in this game are not fun. They're, what, is, they're... what is this thing? Can I do, not, do not. Do not. Do not. I do not want that thing fall. <gasps> okay, so this is the eye bone. Oh. You pick up the eye bone. Okay. And then, a, and then a friend comes. And then a fr oh. He's a, he's a portable chest. Oh, that's so he cool. Follows, he follows you. He follows the player that has the eye bone. His name is Chester, and he's my son, and I love him. This is a mole. You can you can hit them on the head with hammers to make them come out. Okay. Also, bees. So bees are passive mobs except in the springtime. In in the spring, bees um are hostile at all times. Okay. Is it the springtime? No, it's it, we always start in fall. Okay. All right. So basically, for uh, a campfire, uh, camp one campfire usually will survive the night um for early game okay uh, so you'll see it on the side you should have a torch and then a uh, campfire so it'll show yes. you that you need three and two yes i'm gonna go ahead and make okay this camp this campfire will last as long as we keep fueling it okay however once it's basically empty it will we cannot relight we cannot relight it we will um, have to make another one correct okay now you'll also see up at the top there uh it has like it's showing like a moon um and it's completely blacked out yes Every, uh, every cycle, I think it's like every 14 in-game days, um, there's a full moon. Okay. Um, and in, during the full moon, you do not, you do not need a light source to walk in the dark. Okay. You can just walk around, normally. Cool. So, we're not, we don't have to worry too much about, like, the, um, the freezing mechanic, but you'll notice if I stand too close to this fire for too long, I'll start sweating. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Didn't you say you can also set yourself on fire? Yes, but not by standing in the fire. Only if you like, if I lit this tree on fire, would you like an example? Kind of. I just think it'd be funny. Oh, that's so bright. Now, see, it's kind of unfair, because my character can stand in the fire for a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> because... See, now I'm losing health because it's too hot. Ah, okay. Okay, and now once this- oh, I'm, I am overheating so hard. I am. Oh, so eating- person. eating- eating flower petals restores one health per eat. Okay. So, you know, if you're ever desperate for health. Fair enough. Just eat flower petals and shove them in your mouth. You should be fine. Like a rabbit. Essentially, yeah. There are rabbits in this game. You can only catch them with traps. Ah. Because they're really skittish otherwise. That makes sense. Yeah. Also, the bees have like six eyes, just so you know. <laughs> okay. It's not relevant information. I just saw one and I was like, oh shit, I forgot about that. Also, you can see that this tree it should, it should give you charcoal, oh. which is really good for fires. Okay. We can also use that to make a crop. We can use that to make a crock pot later. And the crock pot's really good because once you can make a crock pot, uh, it gives you better food than just what you pick up around the earth. Makes sense. Are we mm -hmm. attempting to get to a destination or is this literally just see how long you can survive? Well, the general idea is that you're gonna want to- Oh, this is new. What is this? Oh, this is new. Okay, we're not gonna touch that right now. Attack- pick Uh, no you're not. No ma'am. I will not- No ma'am. I thought about it. <laughs> What is That's that? To be... It's like a... Who? Oh, it's a statue. It's not a... Swap clothes mannequin? Oh, I think it's just you could... It's like a... Yeah, we're not gonna mess with that right now. I'm um, teaching you how to play. We're not gonna... Okay. Now, however, if I find the chess pieces, I will let Walk you fuck with them. Walk to Lobster Mound. Examine Lobster. Uh, so, eventually, uh, you're gonna be able to make a boat that you can get into the water. Uh, but not right now. Okay. So, come back to the road with me. I'm coming. So, the base, the base idea of this is that you want to eventually set up, like, a primary camp. Okay. Um, so you pick, like, a good spot. Now, I didn't turn off the wolves. Turn off wolves? Yes. Okay. Alright. So, this is a spider den. So, during the daytime, it's totally fine. However... Oh. Now, the good thing about these guys is that you... You can stun lock them. And they drop monster meat. We got meat. Now, now, the monster meat is toxic to eat unless you make it into meatballs. Okay. So, we, we can't eat this normally. Otherwise, it will be very bad. Okay, but we can make so this is just meatballs. Correct, but we need a crock pot for that. Ah, meatballs. oh, there's another so gen here. Yeah, so generally what I- Okay, so did these pig guys attack me? Okay, no. So, I was correct originally. So, these pig guys won't punch you. So, the pig guys are good. So, base pig guys are good. Because, um, when the wolves come, which I believe is every nine days, okay. uh, wolves just- wolves just spawn in the map and they basically are coming to eat your ass. <laughs> they are like, just- they are coming to kill you. You cannot yeah, escape. Yeah, like, they're, yeah, they're, you have no choice. They're coming. Um, and they're scripted. Also, so I've just made a pickaxe. So this is a gold ore. Um, so we like the gold rocks. Gold rocks are nice because they drop gold, and we can use gold to make science materials. Okay. Um, oh, I can also make a pickaxe. Should I also make a pickaxe? It would be good to have one. So the reason why I like the pig guys so much mm -hmm. is because with the pig guys, when the wolves come, they will attack any hostile mob. Okay. So they won't attack you because you're not considered a hostile mob. They will attack the wolves, though. Oh. And these guys, uh, these guys have, like, a kiting mechanic. So basically, uh, they will basically draw the wolves out and then beat the shit out of them. And it's really fucking funny. So we should stay- wait, no. The wolves are not coming tonight. No. The wolves are not coming tonight. Also, oh, the green mushrooms only- Spider. Yeah. Green mushrooms, yes. what? The green mushrooms only come out during the dusk, and then blue mushrooms only come out during, uh, the night time. Okay. And spiders are really easy to outrun. You don't have to hit them. Because they'll just yeah. keep these bombing. They're kinda they're kinda cute, uh, in a really ugly way. Oh no. See they're, they're fine. They're totally fine. You now it's I the got warrior a spider fight. gland. Oh yeah, you can actually use it to heal yourself later. Cool. So I would recommend uh 
with the spiders, uh, we always want to keep. Oh man, do not pick that. Actually, not a good time. There's a mandrake over here. Don't pick it. Okay. It'll it'll knock your ass out. Oh. Uh, okay. Because you have to you have to pick it at like a certain time, or it'll fucking like lose its shit. Uh, let me see here. Also, there's also an occasional chance of if you continuously cut down trees, a tree monster will spawn and beat your ass for not um, practicing conservation. The Lorax really, really, he really does up his game. Yeah, the Lorax really does speak to the trees, and he really does come for your knees. Also, your we your weapons and um, like equipment do have a durability. I'm sure you already noticed that. Yeah, I'm out of space. <laughs> ah, that's a turkey. Oh yes, the turkeys are absolute fucking dickbags. We don't like them. Okay. You can't do anything to them. But they eat they always eat the berries off the bush too, so that's kind of fucking annoying. Anyway, I'm just trying to get enough shit to build a science machine. Do you have rocks? Uh I just dropped some over here. Alright, I'm going to get these rocks. Right here. Alright. So we're just gonna set up a little camp somewhere. I don't have my mini map on so I can see shit. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Fine. It's so fine. Where do we want to set up camp? The right fuck like um, uh, so setting up exactly by the water is not like the best strat, but we're gonna do it anyway. Oh All good. Right, so, well, I'm gonna build a science machine. Okay. Life's cool now. Should... I can open still but I have a gift. I, have a, I can open my gift. Should I make a fire? If you would like. I do, I want to. Yes, that would be great, actually. Ah, where, did I, where did I put it down? No, 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 no. You were going to die. I can't. Where did the thing of a bob go? Okay, I'm going to build a campfire. Please. I'm just, wait, no. Did I do it? Build. How do I place? How do I do things? Build. How do I do things? So, I have the materials for it. If it's still highlighted blue on your menu, you just need to tap it again. It is not- Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not what I meant to do. How do I- how do I untap? Uh, you probably oh, just, I just made another, I just made another axe. You're- you're fine. It's so fine. Okay. So, you're gonna- okay, also, so press M on your map. You should be able to see where we're standing on the map. There's a- oh! There's a map. Yeah, press M. I did. Okay. And you should be able to you should be able to see the science machine. It looks like the little the little rocks and the, oh, the yeah, little. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. Yeah, so that's gonna be where you're always gonna want to make sure you're coming back to. Okay. Um, because that's gonna be like where camp is set up. Um, we need to get more rocks because once we get more rocks, we can build a fire pit. Uh, which basically means we don't have to build a fire every time. Um, basically we can just add fuel, and it'll relight. In the in the rock pit. Okay. Um, scary tree thing. Gonna avoid that. A scary tree. Scary tree. Oh, it's a live. Oh, that's also for magic. It's the living logs. Okay. Uh, these are beefalo. Beefalo are really nice. Oh, they're so they're cute. Really Except for in the springtime when their butts are red, they'll fucking kill you. Oh. And these guys are these guys are absolutely fucking horrifying. Okay. Basically, they get horny in the spring, uh, yeah. and they have babies, and then they protect the babies. That's fair. There's a craft menu. Rock. Yes. I found the rock. I'm so proud of you. Oh, see, they're fighting the frogs. The frogs are terrible. See, he's just punching it. I love this for him. Okay. Let's see, frog legs. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put rocks in Chester. Yeah, go ahead. Chester, where are you? Where is Chester? Right here. You cannot see Chester. I found Chester. So yeah, early game is both mostly just um collecting resources in order to like not die. I see this little axe that you dropped. That's yes, cool. I did. I I accidentally made it and then I didn't have room. Do you have grass? I have enough grass for today. What are... 
dark petals because it's saying I can eat them, and I don't feel um, like I should. I don't think you should. Okay, I don't know what you're eating, but you know, I'm not. Eating. I'm not. Say, I'm not. A, I'm not a cat mom, so I'm not gonna tell you what not to eat. But <laughs> it wasn't the dark petals. Don't worry. So the dark petals, I believe, will probably reduce. They're used for magic. That's all I really know about them because I don't use them very much. They're basically the evil petals that I told you not to pick because they'll drain your sanity. Ah, yeah, that was my bad. I think I had already picked them, and then you were like, "Don't pick them," and I was like, "Oops." Nobody tell mom. So we're gonna do fire two electric boogaloo. Fire two. I'm gonna light this. I'm gonna do this right now so we don't we aren't struggling like we did last time. <laughs> my bad. You're doing great. And also, you want to know if I can force feed you in this game. There you go. I just did it. Thanks. We're gonna do it again. Okay. <laughs> cool. Good. Love that. I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm probably fine, but like, I'm getting kind of low on food. Okay. How do we do? How do we get food? Graveyard. Gold. So we're working on the food thing. Okay. Examine heads. Well, no, I'm walking heads. Let's see. Here's food over here for you. Ooh. Berry. You like berry? I like berry. You like gra I know you like grapes. Berries are like, like grapes. partially the same. <laughs> partially the same. Genetically speaking, they're slightly similar in some capacity. In some capacity. <laughs> Yeah, so, let's see here. Also later, it's good to get a lot of gold in your inventory, because later you can make, like, gold tools, like like a gold pickaxe and, an, um, and, like, a regular axe and some other stuff, and it lasts, like, ten times longer. Okay, can I attack? Attack what? Turkey. You probably cannot catch it. I'm you trying. usually have to use a- I'm You trying. usually have to use a boomerang to get a turkey. There was a skeleton I just passed. Oh yeah, you can you can crush him for bone shards. Uh, pick up sunrise spoon. What is? Oh, this? are you in the graveyard? Um, quite possibly. The crimson cloak. I've got. Yeah. So these are fallen adventurers, and they usually have cool stuff in them. So the crimson quill is. What is this? You can write stuff with it later. Um, let's see. Oh, that's a spool of fish morsel. You don't want that. Ooh, nice hand bee. I got a fishing pole. Here's a random little bee just chilling over here. Suspicious marble. Don't pick it up. Oh. I mean, you can. I'm not gonna stop you. I didn't. I thought about it. And then you were like, don't do it. And I, I did. Oh, a tall bird nest. That's not a good thing. <laughs> oh, no, what? I will not explain. Okay. A tall bird! A tall bird! A tall bird! Oh, that is certainly <laughs> something. Um, but yeah, so, um, then they came out with shipwrecks, uh, which is basically, um, where you can get on the water and do all the cool stuff on that. Okay. Um, so basically, we're most of Don't Start Together is played on, like, the Reign of Giants map, which is, like, what we're doing now, which has, like, the season change. Mm -hmm. Um, but they they did recently add the mechanic. Also, you can pick up seeds on the ground and eat them, by the way. I don't know if I ever mentioned you, that. You didn't, but I figured it out. Alright, that's good. So, sometimes you can just bully the birds into dropping them. I have also done that on accident, but I wasn't actually sure what was happening. You are all good. Should so, we head back? I'm gonna head back. Yeah, like you don't have to head back to your camp every every night. Okay. Like, but it's recommended. It's recommended if you're close by, but like a lot of the time, it's not abnormal to to do like an like a, in like an air quotes like expedition where you stay out for the night. Okay, I'm also I'm I'm out of space. Uh, Chester. Oh, I forgot. You can actually build. Um, eventually, at some point, you can build. Uh, um, what is it called? A backpack, so you can get like more inventory slots. No, I will say that the only unacceptable way to die and don't starve is um, by starving. You had um, one job. <laughs> you had one job! 
I'm just saying. Okay. I think I think if you died, it's on you. Uh, okay. Now, I was going to say, normally you don't have to stick with the person that you're playing with. You can kind of randomly wander off, but like, I don't know if I would recommend that for you. However, maybe you're a big girl and I'm just being mean. No. Alright, we're gonna have fun though. We're gonna have fun tonight. Which is I'm gonna like I'm gonna light trees on fire. Yeah. Arson. Let's go. Whoa. Now just stand a decent distance away. It's so bright. <laughs> yes. Or, oh, it, just, it just sets random things on fire. Boy, I would love a rock. I mean, giant a flower. Bird, giant I'm... bird. I found it. Yes, the tall birds are very hostile, especially when they have a baby. They'll also follow you forever. Oh. I would not recommend taking their babies. I... However, you you can hatch a tall bird baby. Okay. But again, I would not rec I would not recommend it as a general rule of thumb. As a general rule of thumb, got it. Good. Won't do that. Now you may be wondering, am I going to die? The answer could surprise you. <laughs> you struggling? I'm definitely struggling. Cause like normally to restore my sanity, I just like prototype shit, but like I'm not near anything to prototype, so. Okay. All right, I'm no longer dying. So proud. I did of you. it. Did my? You would think that. Sorry. Go ahead. You would think that I'm not. You would think we were learning this game together, and it's not me trying to teach you, but like you know. It's fine. Everything's going well. I feel like I have just as much sanity in this game as I do in, in real life, which is not a lot. You know, sometimes it do be like that. Oh, it be like something, my guy. Okay. You gonna survive on your own for the night? Um, it kinda seems that way. Cause I don't actually know where you're at. That's unfortunate. See, you're fine. You got this. I got... Moon Rock. I mean, that's not entirely useful. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> That's not entirely useful. I mean, it's not. I didn't want to give you full soul. <laughs> okay, this is your first test. Can you survive on your own? Because the answer for me is I'm not sure. Oh no. <laughs> I've definitely been in worse positions than this. That's fair. I have found berries. I am no longer actually starving to death. I told you there was one rule for this game. I am obeying the rule! Barely. Listen, man. So also there's another uh, cool way to get extra food, which is building rabbit traps, and then you can actually like kite the frogs into the rabbit traps, and it's like an instant kill. Oh. You can also do that with spider dens. Okay. Anyway, I have a lot of food for you. I'm coming. It's fine. We may actually just we we may actually build another science machine and just set up somewhere else because we never actually set up a fire pit. Yeah. Actually, I'm very close to where our science machine is, so I'm actually gonna head over there. I'll come get you in the morning. Okay. You got this. <gasps> <laughs> Me, you got this. You. <laughs> Just a pained noise. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a fire pit. Because I struggled real hard with that last time. Are you gonna set up a fire pit or are you gonna set up ah, um, campfire? Yes. Is the thing I meant very, to say. Yes, very important. Oh, I'm gonna starve into that thing on. I set it up with no problem this time. I'm so proud of Look you. Look at me go. Love it. You love it here. There were eyes in the darkness. Yeah, I told you the 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 darkest hostile in this game. Like oh. I, that was that wasn't a bit. I wasn't joking. <laughs> I didn't think you were joking. I just didn't know you. Like missed. you step out. Okay, you step out into the darkness. You see what happens. I don't want to. <laughs> I just didn't know you meant that. Like it actually had no, eyes it's alive. and was going to kill me. Yeah, no. The the dark is alive. Survived the night on my own! I'm so proud of you, boo. 
doing so good. I'm trying to- what was that? There was like a shadow creature. If your sanity is low, it'll probably show up. I didn't think it was that low, but I might have been wrong. Uh, it's more than how low it is. I mean, it's still- it's a still above 100. What's your- what's your max? That's a great question. How do I see I think that? it's two- I think it's 200, I think. Probably. I found the gate! Oh good, you're almost where you need to be. <laughs> oh, so many spider- so many spider people. We're gonna- we're gonna have to- Uh, don't. I will not. Where- don't. where- Don't. Oh, don't. I am- I am- I am- I'm incorrect. Where- you- you are so close to me! Am I? It, it does not feel like I am. You were like, cause you were near like where I was. This is probably true at one point. Oh my god. What is the uh, what does the machine look like again? It looks like a little uh it looks like it's got like a little um uh what's it called? The the, the movie reel. It's got little wheels on the map. It looks like a an old timey movie thingy. It looks like rocks. It looks like it's made of rocks. That's the important part. You are saying words, and I'm sure they mean something to somebody. There's also a fire pit on the map now, too. What does that look like? Is it the swirly thing? It's like a bundle of rocks! Okay, you wanna know- hang on. Swirly thing? Okay, you gotta go north from the swirly thing. I'm north of the- I'm way north of the swirly thing. How north? D too far you north. See the, you see the theater on your map? The little theater masks? Um, no. You can also scroll- you can also scroll in. I am. I'm scrolled so much in. Oh, the theater mask, yes. I see them. Where are you- where are you adjacent to that? So, so far north. Okay. Come down. I'm it's north. literally, um, to the southeast of the theater masks. Oh, I'm so far away from that. This might be out in the wilderness, take two electric boogaloo. I'm being attacked! I'm being so attacked! Ow! It seems like you're doing excellent. 